Hello, collective. Hello. I pulled out a reading for us. Um, I'm going to start with this tarot reading. So, what pulled out was the moon, page of cups, and uh, five of pentacles. So, what I think is hiding uh, in the moon is somebody younger than you is feeling left out in the cold for some reason. Um, maybe it's saying that you and your kids had to uh, leave during the cold in the night. That's another way I'm looking at it. But maybe... Um, Maybe a Pisces is hiding something from you. Like a, if you have a parent that's a Pisces, they might be hiding something from you since Page of Cups was right after it. Like maybe it's your mom or, or dad or they're feeling left out in the cold. But somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Hang on. I got to pick up these ones right here. Then it says... um. Then it pulled out Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fighting in conflict, family. So I think what it's saying is all these secrets that's come out has caused a lot of fights in your all's family. And I, I'm sure that it has, but people's got to realize you got to let go of them feelings, okay? We'll all have feelings, and you got to learn how to deal with your feelings. That's the thing. It, that's the hard thing, learning how to deal with things that you've done. Me, that's my practice. I've, I've, had, I've had to learn with things that I have done. I had to learn how to deal with it. Are you listening? Yeah, I did. That's the truth, what I just said. You know, Jim and I leave Aquarius, you all use your quick-witted, smart mind. You all take your sword, and you chop off people when you need to, and, uh, but you know you're on your spiritual journey. Somebody that's listening to me, that's what you're. That's what you're focused on, and and it feels like they've been a lot of fight and competition, and uh, somebody feels like you've you you might have cut off your emotions to them in your family, okay? Uh, but it seems to me like you're building your generational wealth, and this is pissing off somebody. Maybe it's a child of yours that's mad, like. But they don't understand that it's for the whole family, I guess. Maybe you had to uh, you had to tell a lot of these secrets. And if people don't understand it, well, it wasn't for them to understand, you know. I mean, that's just how it is, collective. Uh, you know, you got to walk away from doing shit. Somebody's fed up and they said, I've had enough and I'm, and I'm tired of how I was treated. And... Yeah, I'd say a lot of people do feel left out in the cold, like with me, you all, when I started this practice, you, but you all don't understand all the things that was hiding under the moon, what they was doing to me, you know, and I'm letting it out, that's why two moods come out right here, okay, um, maybe somebody thinks that you're hiding, maybe somebody thinks you're hiding your feelings now, Queen of Swords, and you're going to walk away and go towards some funny little young person, and it's causing, that's stupid, you know what I mean, but this is about your spiritual path. Look, Aries, Aquarius, energy, you're going on your, your path. This is your path. This is your new beginning. This is your new beginning. And feeling left out in the cold in your family. Um, you was, uh, then we got Nine of Wands. People feel like you're very ambitious. They're learning from you. Your family's learning from you that you're very energetic and determined a leader. You're very energetic and determined leader. And all these challenges, you know how to embrace them as a positive change. You know, positive change are unpredictable. But believe in yourself and have courage is the best. And, and that's what I'm trying to teach everybody in my family. You got to believe in yourself and in your abilities, especially when you're building a damn business like I'm doing, you guys. Y'all know that. And these was the last two, uh, you know, and it this is Hermit and a Star. So I think that all that it's saying is this is, you're on your spiritual path. This is your new beginning. You had to go inside and heal. You had to go inside and heal this. These family wounds, that's what it is, and you you need to start a new practice. You're doing a new skill, and uh, 
maybe because you had felt like all was lost. Like, am I even working for the right reasons? Like, maybe you felt like that, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody around you is feeling like it. But but you had to go inside and heal your inner in selves with these past life relationships of yours. That's what it's talking about. You know, Six of Cups, past life. You, you had to heal all this shit from your past lives, you know, and you had to be courageous to do this, yes. If you had a question, it's yes. And uh, you was feeling like pessimistic, maybe. And like, it, all you was doing, like, you was do all this work you're putting in is for no fucking reason. You had to have a lot of strength and courage. And you, you like, can tame the beast. You, to tame this beast within. Like, you was wanting people to notice that you had changed from being this... Uh, young energy type you had changed you you're not wanting to do things the way you did you know and you feel like nobody's even noticed all these changes that you went through and you're like look i feel like i'm a star now but like nobody else pays attention but you might be getting an opportunity to travel travel the world here soon you could be a taurus a uh, a Taurus, a Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Leo. That's that energy. Um, you could have it in your chart a lot, even if that ain't your sign. Uh, but it's saying you got to get rid of these burdens that ain't yours to pack. You have to. You have to. You have to push through. You're teaching people to push through all this shit you had to go through. Just push through it. Somebody's waiting on you. Somebody's waiting on you to do their work. No. Somebody's waiting on you. You already completed your healing stage. Okay, stars. You already completed your healing stage. But now, this other person, and it's a king of cups. They're waiting on you to remove all these burdens. This person that has a lot of love for you. You feel like they do. But, you know, if you look and hear their emotions... It's a little up and down, too. Like, they might hang on to shit. They might be a manipulator. They might be a manipulator, okay? Somebody might be uh, trying to... Uh, this King of Cups is trying to do magic on this emperor. Whoever this loving person is or pretend to be loving person is doing magic on this emperor. They're trying to put him in a coffin. See that? They're trying. They're they're trying to do something to this emperor, whoever this is. I don't know you all, but look, it's like they're alchemizing. Right before that, it says burdens. See, ten of one, burdens. Wait, waiting on your ships to come in. Waiting on, waiting on an answer. This waiting on you to come to them. But this person is waiting on you to do all this. But behind your back, they are uh, alchemizing uh, or they're doing black magic on this emperor. They're trying to put him in a down. They're trying to put him in a fucking ground. That's the truth. That's the truth. They didn't want your emperor to go after their uh, actions and passions. They didn't want this person to do that. They just wanted them. Um, uh, they're selling away. They wanted this. They wanted this emperor to sail away and be at a crossroads. They they wanted this emperor to feel stuck. Whoever a son of a bitch and man is, uh, this could be a uh, a relationship, love and togetherness, positive business partnership. So maybe uh, they didn't want this emperor to come towards you and have this positive business partnership. Like, they feel like that you all would be childish and give love, give your love away. Are you listening to that? They think that you're all uh, immature and don't know how to be around each other without humping each other. That's what it is. That's all that it was. That's why all this fight was going on. That's why somebody would call my sense and said, well, fuck it. I'm on my own. I'm going to do the way I want to do. That's what that said right there. This is your new beginning to show these people that... They was leaving you out in the cold. 
in your family. Maybe somebody's take, high, uh, stealing your money, trying to leave you without anything. It sounded to me like Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's like this person you think might be your twin or uh, your twin flame. They might be offering their cup to his, uh, to a, a, another single woman. That's what it just said. That's what it just said, y'all. They're offering their cup up to someone else, and uh, they didn't tell you about it. That could be somebody that you're in a relationship with, that King of Cups. That was him. Because he was jealous of this person that you were supposed to have a business with. That's all it was. He was jealous. He was jealous. So he, manip so he was manipulating this situation. He's receiving judgment at the moment. Judgment is, he has a lot of poor choices. He's very pessimistic and negative. His judgment is getting called. And Angel said, you better stop fucking making this person feel like, like they have confusing decisions to make all the time. You better stop doing that or I'm going to fucking take you out. That's what the angel said. I'm sorry. So I don't know who that is, but they better stop now doing that. I'm telling you right now. All right, y'all, that was the uh, tarot message, and I hope y'all like it. And if you're new and you watch all the way through 1119, please hit subscribe, you guys. Please hit subscribe. I'm old Queen of Swords Aquarius over here, if you was curious, okay? <laughs> okay, so this right here, this this helped me a while ago. Crystal ball, clarity. You're gaining clarity, and it could be uh, when a storm comes, Okay. Palmistry interpretation. All right, just let me pull them all out. Shooting star confirmation. Handwriting authenticity. And what I think that it's saying is you, you gain clarity today that what you interpret is confirmation for lots of people. You're very authentic. Your handwriting is very authentic. And, and uh, uh, you're, you're gaining clarity that maybe higher ups are paying attention to what you're saying because your interpretations are correct they know that i have this in my collective all my collective 1222 all y'all know it all right so then i pulled out eight i pulled out eight signs and a bunch of cards with it okay you all all right so here's the first sign is jill and i and uh this is about cross pollinating you know, Gemini is the twins. And twin cart, twin flame pulled out. Exorcist. So maybe you and your twin flame is supposed to um, come together and exercise others' demons. You just know how to free yourself and others of destructive impulses. That's all it means. You're, divine, you're healing the divine masculine. The divine masculine within provides protection, discernment, healing, a sense of deep safety, and holding. Even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life, your inner masculine is going through healing right now. Growing stronger in the ability <laughs> to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. So that's what's happening to some Gemini out here. Let me get a drink. Sorry, y'all. I had to bowl my nose. All right. So then it said, Hi, Cynthia. You need to be playful. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. And that's by Joseph Chilton Pierce. So your your flowers like a hyacinthia. Hi, if you want to buy one right now, that might help you. That might help you to heal these demons on the inside of you so you can heal this divine masculine on the inside of us. 1414. Oh, and Gaia uh, came out in your nurturing. You know, this is like nurturing. Your divine feminine side is coming out. This is your new beginning, Dawn Milky Way perspective. So you had to change uh, your perspective about this new beginning. You had to nurture it and, and, and know that it would come that everything will happen for you in divine time. You just need to uh, be playful to bring that adult brilliance to life. Did you hear that now? That's what it's saying right now. Okay, Jim and I, that's what it's saying. 
and it said uh, titanium rainbow quartz. You're very multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person that you're asking about. Ooh, very multifaceted this person is. That's what you are, Gemini. You're very multifaceted. This person loves that about you. Did you hear that? And when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And I love you, son. And you see that, Angel Wings? I love you. My my child was a Gemini. And that pulled out while going and about made me cry when I was getting I was reading. Okay? I love you. I just... I just didn't want to sit there and show you how long it took me to pull out all these cards, which is about 20 minutes. I'm not lying. Oh, and Taurus, cultivate. You're cool. and, you know, I always do it like this. Spirit, 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 give me for Gemini. That's what I did. Spirit, give me for Taurus. I did for always. That's what I do. Oh, you're a healer, Taurus. Somebody wants to cultivate up something with you now. They know that uh, you serve others passionately. They love that about you, Taurus. Now somebody does. Oh, God. And Taurus, uh, it might be that a mystery is to, you might be a high priestess or know a high priestess, you know. And high priestess is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and uh, Virgo. That's what I heard uh, people, some, well, it's one reader say, uh, but it's definitely, I know water signs, and I didn't know it was Virgo until I listened to that one, but I believe that. And, hey, I got Virgo in me, so I, I believe that. Oh, and... A mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. So, listen, Taurus, is that listening to me out here? You're, you're, what your purpose is, is you're supposed to be a high priestess healer. Oh, that's what you are. Oh, and Amarilla said, determination and creative achievement you can use up creativity the more you use the more you have that's by maya angelo Ooh, i love that that was pretty amaryllis maybe you live in amarillo texas Ooh. <laughs> and uh remember that nobody can ever use up all their creativeness the more you use, the more you have. You hear that, don't you? Yeah, people know I got a lot of creativeness inside of me. Oh, man, you got a lot of strength. Oh, and I have a Taurus rising. So that's how I show up in the world. That's why I like reading that for me. Does you know, like, uh, two. Uh, there's a few of them I can read in here for myself. Like the next one I can too, this next sign. Because I got a lot of that in me. Oh, and island solitude. So during all this solitude... You gain this damn strength to emerge, see? During this solitude, you gain the strength and the courage you needed to emerge a brand new dragonfly. Ready to chase the yonder world, wherever you want to go. Maybe you're flying to Amarillo, Texas tonight. Somebody is. It said it right there. And if, you do, if you're 1818, you better let me know. Moldavite came out. This is about unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Oh, thank you for teaching me that, Spirit. I knew it was. So your different qualities is is, is emerging from the from the depths of your soul. <laughs> oh, right into right into now. Oh, and it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Oh, allow nature to take its course now. Something's happening for you right at the right time it was supposed to, okay, Taurus? All right, next sign. Next sign is Libri, Libri Balance. I got a bunch of this in me. Oh, yeah, Starseed Libra. I love you, Spirit. You're brought here to raise the universe's vibrations because unity is what will align us for all of our life's purposes. You can, uh, this is what Starseeds do. And the goddess of 10,000 names pulled out. It says, if you have felt constrained by a role, a name, or identity and are wishing for assistance in growing beyond it, or if you have sensed a new role or identity calling you into greater expression and would love some divine help in that growth, this oracle indicates the help you need is already with you, urging your growth from within. That's what the goddess of 10,000 names said. So, uh, 
ask the divine for help to, to grow in this, uh, to grow from within. This oracle indicates the help you need is already with you, urging you to grow from within. And that's what you're learning. Oh, a yellow rose, that's about friendship. That's enthusiasm and friendship. I told you that's what yellow means. I told you all a long time ago, some reader said that it, yellow wasn't friend. Uh, it was something else, but that's what it is. It always has been. A single rose can be my garden. A single friend, my world. And that's by Leo Muscogulia or something. So, uh, you're very enthusiastic about this one friend that you have, okay? Winter solstice reflection, shaman, ancient healing, wisdom, new moon, promise. So, you, during the silence, during the winter time, during the winter solstice, you learn about how to reflect uh, on how to show up in the world, okay? You started reflecting over your life and you figured out that you was a shaman and this was about ancient healing wisdom. Maybe you got Indian lineage or something and this is what you're being called to do at this moment. You made a promise long ago. Somebody's promising during a new moon to heal this situation. They've been reflecting on it. That's what it said now. Okay, Libra, they've been reflecting on it the same as you. They're going to come to you during the winter solstice. You need to look at your calendar now. Oh, diamond, it says value at that new moon. That's when they're coming. Value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. You're a damn diamond. See, Libra, you're a diamond. Pro oh, during a winter solstice, a shaman is promising you a diamond. Oh, I love that spirit. That's what it said. It said starseed. Goddess of 10,000 names. That means that you, it's hard to put a name on you because you're a star seed that has so much qualities and the right type of bird chart. It's hard to put a name on you. That's what it was saying. Uh, but this shaman is promising you a diamond and it's a secret admirer of yours. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Oh. You're getting a diamond now, baby. I love you, Spirit, for telling that message the way you did for that, for this person that needed to hear it today. Now, it's on Libra, but anybody that's watching my videos, you can listen. Any of these can pertain to you if you feel it in your heart, okay? And if you gain clarity, okay? Oh, and Virgo digest. You know, Virgo's about the digestive tract. Oh, and this is about king. So maybe you got a king Virgo. But, you know, this is about you being, uh, you got enlightened that you, this is about benevolent leadership. You're benefiting those in your charge. Okay, that's all that it's saying. You're helping those. Uh, and a lady of the stars, uh, maybe your king Virgo helps you and mine does. Sirius is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. She brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks that you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. So old lady of the stars, Aquarius over here is telling you, you better pay attention to what I just said, King Virgos. You're going through a spiritual awakening. That's what it is. Uh, uh, something spiritual is happening. Something that'll make you or break you. I'll put it that way. Okay? So try to go with the flow, Virgo. That's all I can say. And uh, here's Garden Heliotrope. And this is about devotion and dreams fulfilled. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh, you're going after your dreams. You're following this lady star. That's what you're doing, Virgos. And Tsunami, you're getting a wake-up call. Ooh. Ooh, wake-up call. Vulnerability, vulnerability, meadow, meadow. Waterfall, effortless. You're getting a wake-up call that you better start being more vulnerable, uh, Virgo. And you need to let your damn emotions flow effortlessly. You better cry out. Be vulnerable to this person that you love. You're getting a wake-up call to damn do it soon, or it's going to cause a tsunami. 
if you don't fix this issue in your life and learn to open up more and stop being so, uh, Virgos are about perfectionists. They always have been. You know, I've talked to my husband about this many years ago. <laughs> He's a Virgo, and I got Virgo on me. But uh, we both had to learn how to open up and communicate and not analyze everything. You know, don't analyze everything. Think of that situation logically like Aquarius does before you sit and put all this shit in different boxes and say, aha, no, let's just put... Go in here and earn a tub or don't, you know, don't, you don't have to put your heart into everything. Put your mind into it and then make a heart and head decision both. That's what you got to do now. And, but you got to let your emotions flow. You're getting a wake up call. God is warning you right now, now, Virgo. And Tanzanite, you're ready to love again. So, I mean, this is about made me cry too while ago when I heard it, but it'll be all right. Uh... You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So, see, I mean, that's why I, I'm grateful for spirit because spirit effortlessly tells me new things that I need to know all the time. Uh, yeah, it, it does. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. It's a blessing for you to met this new person. You need to open them emotions and tell the truth to that partner. It's been waiting on you to open up to them about these memories uh, that you was needed to let go of. And you need to do it now, Virgo. And now here Pisces. And it says, you know, they're sensitive. And it's about a dilettante. This is about you delight in the arts without having to be a professional. You just love art. You like making little drawings and stuff, maybe, and that's okay. A truth is going to be unveiled. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you. Boy, ain't that true. When you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you, boy, ain't that true. You may think there's something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing <clears throat> that all is not as it appears to be. Boy, I've been sensing this a lot, God, these feelings I've had. Trust what you feel, not what appears to be. Yeah, they can make illusions of that false reality that you might be living in. But God said, go with your gut, because that's, that's the truth. Go with it. You might have to chop off people's heads when you find out this secret that they're really trying to walk away and be uh, be alone. They wanted you to fight over it. They thought it'd be fucking funny to uh, leave real feistly from this marriage. Hang on. And leave you out in the cold, feeling confused. They're getting judged, this Virgo is, for not telling their emotions to you about this twin flame relationship and this partnership or business, whatever it is, and walking away, not saying jack shit nothing about this. They're, they're just taking action to leave you dead with this. That's what it said. They're manipulating, pretending to love you. They're leaving you waiting. They're going to be leaving you waiting on an answer that you're never going to get. Complete the cycle out. Have the strength to not fucking water and worry about it anymore. Stand up for what you believe and have courage to get out of this past life relationship star so you can heal and see the down light. That's what it said. Oh, white rose, new start wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Aristotle, sorry, Pisces, I didn't mean to do that, but, you know, I just had a truth unveiled at the moment. My uh, inner... My inner uh, Virgo, what is it? My inner uh, high priestess come out. Uh, no, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Yeah, I know myself. Dream time, creation, fairies, earth, magic, instinct. Your instincts is uh, to create with this earth magic at the moment. Create with this earth magic, okay? Okay. Uh, Maybe you've been dreaming of fairies and wolves also, and that's what it's saying, that you need to create, you need to use the earth elements to help you. 
uh, Laramar, sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. You might have some Laramar. <laughs> emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Yeah, in order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, you gotta let go of resentment, like, Damn, I resent that that person did that to me. You know, just just let it fucking go. It, it, it's not going to do any good. <laughs> Scorpio, investigate. 30-30. Maybe someone's investigate you at the moment. They see that you have the potential for sacred beauty in all things, Scorpio. The spirit of Isis is helping. Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has a spirit of triumph and will never, never fail in her quest. No matter how bold or impossible it seems, let her inspire you, believe. <laughs> You're being inspired to be a child magical at the moment. First emotions of love. Love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat. That's by being hecked. Lilacs. This is my favorite smell. I love lilacs. So, uh, don't give up. Surrender and let go to be in this child magical. Something about DNA, karma, breach, breath. So, I think there's karma attached to, uh, Whoever breached your house contract and wasn't gonna wasn't gonna breath it, not one word from out of their mouth. Whoever is son of a bitch is doing that to you women, or if it's a woman doing it to you men, whoever is son of a bitch is that is going to walk off and breach your house contract in business or partnership or fucking marriage and not have a and not speak one breath to you about it. Their motherfucker ass is, there's a big karma. They're going to get their karma death as soon as they do that for, for uh, leading you down that way. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, because they're trying to love as a magician and pulls out, pulls man out of his own hat. What that's saying is that man's going to take his hat and a few clothes and walk the fuck off and leave you. Want to feel, leave you feeling like shit. And you might have sensed that this was going to happen because you're a fucking got high priest, a star. You got all the fucking good cards in you, justice, and they didn't understand. Oh, Rubelite, passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. Work on this new, uh, work on this new down passion of yours because uh, that person is going to receive their karma. Don't you worry, Scorpio. Oh, romance, Cupid arrow strike. Ooh, they're struck with love. Somebody loves you, so don't worry. Their purpose is to love you, Scorpio. Somebody's is. Oh, and it's Sagittarius. Expand, expand the horizon. Adonis. Inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. Ooh. Tell yourself you're beautiful, Sag. This is about enter the chamber of healing. A spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without expectation or preconceived notions and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Expect the miracle. I thank you, Spirit, for showing me exactly what I needed to see. And uh, you all need to uh, let go of any preconceived notions that you have about this, about why you're scared to heal this, okay? Clematis, intelligence and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Don't worry about the down past. You're very intelligent. You got a lot of mental, mental strength. That's what it's saying, okay, Sag? And then you're, you're very radiant. Summer solstice, radiance, ocean, ebb and flow, and then we have rain, purification. So let's tell me right now that you need to get your ass in the water some way. It's going to help you in your situation. You need to use the water element. That's why rain and ocean came out. And definitely in the summertime, you might have went to the ocean and it rained. If it did, this toys for you. <laughs> 
<coughs> okay? But you was having to purify. You needed to heal from something, Sagittarius. All ceremonies and celebrations, Emerald. It is a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Ooh, Emerald come out, Sagittarius. Maybe you have a, a child who has their uh, birthstone as Emerald. I don't know. Or a, or a girlfriend or something, or a wife. Or maybe that's for you. I don't know. No, Sagittarius is a blue sapphire thing. It says, let there be closeness between you. But always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. That's true love. If you have somebody controlling your every step, that's control. If they don't want you to do jack shit nothing, that's control. But if they're allowed to do whatever they want, you know, they're the manipulator. That's what that means. Uh, so if you all want to love each other the correct way, give each other space. You go there, go to your friends, I'll go to mine. That's how we do it. Go to your mom's, I'll go to mine. That's, that's what you have to do for a good relationship to survive. Do you want to know how mine survived that long? Nobody ain't fucking controlling me, I tell you right now. That shit ended a long time ago. Uh-uh. No, no control. I know better than that shit. Aries act... And I don't control jack shit, nobody. That's a fucking lie I never did. I never was like, you can't do this. That's fucking stupid. People like that irritate me, you all. I love y'all collective. I'll just tell you how people are. I don't like people how they do like that. Somebody's wanting to take action. They want to serve humanity with humility with you. Ooh, Messiah energy. Passion of the Christ is coming out, ain't it? Miracle of Isis. Isis offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with this particular matter, no, how, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship issue, or inner struggle being part of it, you are guided now to accept the possibility of a miraculous healing. Let go and let the goddess be. Let go and let God that's what that said, okay? Don't hang on to shit anymore. Okay, Aries, apple blossom. Oh, I love them. They smell so good, don't they? Choices, knowledge, and illumination. White are the flowers of apple tree. That brings us fruits of fertility. That's my unknown. I love apple blossoms. I think it smells beautiful. Maybe you're very fertile at the moment. Ooh, you're getting a DNA activation at the moment. Look, wind. Go out in the wind. It's going to activate uh, one of your powers inside. Yeah, go outside and when it's when it's really windy and the trees is blowing real big. See how that woman's blowing up with her. When the wind is blowing real hard, go outside and just stand there. And you might need to hold on to a crystal also. And you might need to stand on a mountain where there's trees at. But you need to focus, focus on grounding yourself so you can activate your powers, Aries. Put a crystal in your pocket. Put amethyst, see? Put you some amethyst, see? Amethyst. See all that purple? Crown chakra. Yeah, that's the best. And pick it, okay? And then it said turquoise. Get you some turquoise. I got turquoise. Some wars. Uh, it says your spiritual path, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. You got to do it. We all have to go through these changes, and I'm telling you right now, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Anybody that's watching me, even if your sign ain't out here, it'll be okay. Don't worry. This is your spiritual path, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This person knows that this is your all spiritual path and you're their beloved. They, they want you to focus on grounding and activate this so you'll come towards them and, and show and, and let them let you know that they're your only choice. There's a miracle getting ready to happen. Let it go. Tell God to let go of this old womb so you all can come back together and it'll happen. I promise, Aries. They're wanting you all to heal humanity with you and they're wanting to take action. So they might be coming towards you and I'll tell you when. The full mood.
this next full moon is going you're going to complete out this cycle see that tree remember it just showed that tree remember right here and look don't that look like full moon around that tree look at that shit see what i'm saying that's when it's happening you need to complete out this cycle this next full moon the next one you need to have the courage to do it you and that person iris you and them Oh, lapis lazuli, life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Look, truth, 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 look, truth. Truth is there's going to be a storm on that full moon. See how that looks in that crystal ball light? And truth is this storm this full moon whenever a storm comes it might already happen that you gain clarity that you you knew the truth that you don't knew the truth of this situation you had handwritings to to, to help you learn that it was true you had a writing about it Aries. okay they'd already interpreted they'd done spoke this to you are you listening gold oh god gold it says divine intervention god sends miracles to answer sincere prayers you need to sincerely pray about this sincerely you know what that means don't you that means don't hold your emotions in that means cry 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 big to god and do it on your knees and that's how i've always did it when i needed when i needed god's help because ain't that when everybody calls upon god when they when they need him <laughs> But if they don't get an answer real quick, some of these people will be like, why does God do that? Don't be asked them why God does things because when you do that, there's karma attached to it. Just believe that God knows why because God didn't want it to be that fast for you people, okay? You got to... You gotta use discernment when you pray. And if you get visions while you're praying to God of Egypt, of Egypt and stuff like me, and I have touched I lay up I I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up, but I know how to interpret if anybody would listen. But that, that was a day I got saved. That's why I saw that. And I love you, God, and I thank you. Just go read the Bible. That's all I'm gonna say, Aries. Oh go, God sends miracles, answer sincere prayers. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Ain't that true? Because somebody was too coward to speak. That's what it was. There's too coward to speak. Because this was a, it might have been, you might have been in a relationship or that person was, Aries. But that person knows how to give and receive love equally and blessings. She might be the tower card, though. <laughs> Some of us are the tower card, you know. It? A lot of unnecessary stuff happens, but it'll bring a shocking uh, change. If you ever know that, go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So, in the full moon, someone's wanting to complete this truth to you. They want to tell you the truth. They're fucking tired of holding on to it and holding on to it. They can't anymore. They want to tell you that you're like gold and they they know that this shift is happening so you all will come together. Do it on that day then, Aries, the full moon in November. That's when you need to do it. That's what, it's, that's what it just said now. <coughs> you need to do it now. And, uh, let me see. I think that's all I got for you guys. Here, I might do a little message. Let's see what mine says. I don't know what it'll say. If this part don't go, don't pay no attention. Don't hate my reading for one part that didn't sound good for you. It might for somebody else. That's the point, okay, you guys? Uh, well, again, yeah, I'm just trying to help all of us. When you see a crab, it may mean that they're doing lunar magic on you, spiritual person. So if you see a crab, you just gain clarity. You someone just gain clarity. I just confirmed some clarity for someone over here. <laughs> Probably for my own self. So they when you see a crab, they're doing lunar magic. So someone's been running spells on you. I've seen crabs before, have you all? 
you were being judged harshly. It could be it's saying that it, it can also say that a cancer is doing that to you. And you were being judged harshly for things that these people didn't even know or understand about you or your side of the story. Yeah, thank you for that spirit. Thank you for that spirit. I love you. They was a nosy Perez. Someone is. Don't get scared if it ain't if it if it ain't but. Somebody, they was just trying to poke their nose where it didn't belong and wanted people to judge you. And they went to law enforcement. This nosy Perez, cancer, didn't even know your side of the story. And they went to the law. They're trying to put their nose into your business. And I, the law don't know this cancer about me. I'm just letting you know. Mercury retrograde. And they did this... Uh, during Mercury retrograde this year or last year, that's when they did it. They they was wanting to uh, cause turbulence, so they was wanting to cause turbulence in your life. So when Mercury Mercury just went out of record, retrograde not long ago, they uh they, they did black they did lunar magic on you and they did they was judging you. They went and told the law, uh, and the law said they're nosy to quit being fucking nosy. And they're just, uh, they was, uh, they, they're trying to get in people's business that didn't belong. And, uh, they paid some of these older people may have been involved in stealing money that was rightfully yours because you did all the damn work for it. So what I think it's saying is they're in a Murphy retrograde. Uh, they, somebody took money that was rightfully yours and it's, It'll come back to you. It'll come back to you. Don't worry. Ooh, this is a shapeshifter. Their their personality changes when you come around them. Uh, and uh, they've been digging up stuff from the past about you. And this person is amazed by the transformation. The loss is amazed by the transformation. And they know that you've got a lot of psychic energy and power inside of you. And soon enough, these people's going to know and see your power. The law knows this. They're not telling that nosy Perez person. They know that they have a shapeshifter energy. They know. The law knows that about this cancer. Uh, that was judging you harshly. Thank you for that law. Thank you for that law. I appreciate you. Did you know that? Uh, and when you're awake, people can't send distractions towards you because you know they're in game. You knew they're in game way ahead of time. Because the angels give you that gift of your third eye was already open. Yeah, this is old energy. I knew this done to me, collective. <laughs> I knew it. Because the law will come down there at work. Every time I said something to one person in particular, and that's how I leaked it back. And I let them do this for months. Uh, and every time I would say something to this one person, because I knew that that's what was happening, I just let, kept letting it go on. And then I heard the law one day what they said back there. They didn't think I heard, but. The law was let me here is what it was. <laughs> Thank you for that law. Oh, and don't compare yourself to other people. Love yourselves for who you are and choose to be a healed individual that is happy with yourself. This is what you do, see? They know that that's what you are. <laughs> and uh, you will be blessed when you stand in your truths and start being grateful for everything you have in life. I'm grateful for my individuality and for for my psychic strengths i thank you for that spirit i'm thankful for it and i hope my collective is too because i'm trying to help them understand things too your evil plot hang on let me blow my nose <coughs> Someone's evil plot. Oh, yeah, drink. Your evil plot to kill a chosen one just got exposed. Y'all are going down. Ooh. This nosy Perez is going down because they come after a chosen one. This, this nosy Perez shapeshifter. Shapeshifter narcissist. That's what that means. Did y'all know that's what it means? That's what it means. And 
and you both have to work on said issues. Only one person trying to fix things means that you might as well be by yourself. That's what the fuck that means. I'm telling the truth. Maybe somebody let off a bunch of balloons this weekend. <laughs> or you're getting ready to receive a bunch of balloons, I feel. I feel somebody's going to get some balloons and flowers. I love you, Spirit, because I did them flower cards. You're going to. Somebody is. And uh, somebody's mom or dad wishes that you was not even in the picture anymore because they want your life because you make a marriage look easy. This person is that's nosy that went blab to the wall about your readings. This can be for a reader because every time I put a reading out, this one person runs and tells it to the law. So readers, if people's doing it to you, they're mad because your relationship, they're pissed off at it. They think that you make a marriage look easy. And I tell you what, they're stupid as hell. <laughs> marriage ain't easy. No, it's always a continuous work. You just don't let each other get on each other's nerves. And if they do do something, go about, stupid son of a bitch, I wish I could kick him in the dick. That's what I do. You know, just, just voice something like that. That's all you're doing. Let it die. Voice it to yourself and let it die. Or go the fuck outside and say something. And then just let the down, just let the fight die. That's all you got to do. But people, that's narcissists, they don't know how to do that, Collective. They don't know how to do that. But this dude or woman only wanted to, uh, do everything that you did. They didn't have no gumption about themselves. And an uncle could be involved in something that you didn't know about, Uncle Buck. This man or woman doesn't want you to do anything for yourself. All you to do for them because they suck all your damn energy and they couldn't lose your energy. See, they was judging me harshly at my work. I do know that. And... Whoever his uncle is for you all, I don't know, collective, but whoever's uncle, somebody's uncle is jealous, and uh, they they love your good energy, but they don't like that you have a happy, fun life. That's what it said, and and uh, somebody's, some mom out here gets beat up from her teenager son because she... Uh, didn't punish him the correct way or take their privileges away. So somebody's uncle and their wife or an uncle figure and their wife, they're mad that you got a, a good marriage and, and they know that you're a spiritual person and they didn't want to lose your good energy because they knew that it was all fucking going to come out how they wanted you to do everything for them. They want it to ride, ride your wave. They're get it's getting exposed that they're doing magic on you, and the law knows about it. Cause the law, they've been saying that maybe your readings is about them, and the law's like, shut the fuck up. She's just doing a practice, you know. You all went around digging up shit on her, and you're getting getting your payment back. You're getting your payment back. That's what it said. <laughs> That's what it said now. Oh, what that say? And no con men are allowed around me or in my energy. No dope fiends. See, this is what we learned. Do you understand? They was trying to con some dope heads to come around you again. Don't y'all know I'll take your all's drugs and, and throw them right back to your face? An apology would go a long way, even though it's hard at the end of the day. I apologize. That's all there is to say. Just keeping it real day day by day, and that's by me, Pound Star Oracle. Oracle, do not steal my fucking poems that I write. I'm very fucking passionate about it. Did you hear that? And that was a simple, blunt truth. An apology would go a long way, even though it's hard at the end of the day. I apologize. That's all that there is to say. Just keeping it real day to day, day by day. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle, like I said. See? So he's, uh, some dopehead wants to apologize to you, but your patience is really spread thin with this fucking person. You're feeling like, why do they even keep trying? They make a lot of decisions that doesn't make sense to you, or they'll take a lot of money and not say anything or why they took this money. And now it feels like a game. Yeah, because the shapeshifter is going to buy dope. And this nosy Perez... Crab, cancer, this is funny for my situation, I'll put it like that. It doesn't have to be a cancer for y'all collective. This nosy Perez shapeshifter, 
person that might do, uh, you know, like I'm a spiritual person. It's another spiritual person. It could be. Or they're paid a spiritual person to do magic on you. They're getting exposed because these people that run to the law try to have you c c killed. And the law know is that there's a message about that on my phone. They know it. They know it. I've, I've done said it. How many fucking times more? And I'm not saying it no more. I'm, I don't even give a fuck about it. Because <laughs> God knows about it. That's all that matters. And all you wanted was an apology from all these people that had wronged you. And you knew their end game that they was too damn sorry and lazy to apologize. And somebody's uh, person out here might be buying drugs from from a person that you didn't want them to. You didn't want them doing drugs, but they're buying it. They're buying it. And uh, they some woman that feels trapped in a loveless relationship. It's this dope thing that they're going towards. Oh, and this man is one crazy son of a bitch. He wants to come and harm you. He wants to bring blood by any means necessary. He's seeing red big time. So, so this uncle, uh, his old lady, whoever she is, she's trapped in her lover's relationship with him. Because she knows that he's an asshole and he'll bring blood by any means necessary. That's what it's saying now. He He's an uh, angry, angry Son of a bitch that likes to fight. Whoever that is, y'all. I don't know, but they're a dope head. You need to buy your horseshoe and put it over your front door to ward off all the evil spirits, okay? And remember, there's no coincidences in life. Everything happens for a reason. This is happening for a reason because you've been doing all the work on yourself. You're 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 psychic. Your third eye is open. You done knew this end game. You're healed. You're happy with yourself. You was just wanting an apology, an apology, and you patiently sat waiting, and, and your patience run thin, and you're fucking tired of it. And you said, y'all better be buying you a fucking horseshoe to ward off all the evil spirits that's coming in to uh, take your soul down because you don't know how to tell the truth. That's what God said just then, not me. God wanted me to relay that message. Oh, and a narcissist partner. <laughs> A narcissist partner don't want you to tell anything in your private life because then others will see that your relationship ain't perfect. See, so you need to uh, remember that to buy a thing and put it over your door, a horseshoe, because this narcissist didn't want you to tell their secrets and they know you did. And uh, I done told you it was a narcissist a long time ago. They work with a crab. And uh, somebody is doing jar spells on you. They take strands of your hair and put it in a mason jar to get you to fall in love with another man. So your man was wanting you to fall in love with another man because they know that y'all are in a loveless relationship. Did you hear that story? There ain't no coincidences in life now. That's for somebody. That's for somebody big now. Oh, and here's a good one. A real man tends to his own herd. He goes out and makes it all on his own. That's a, that's a quote by me, Pamela. Ooh, look at sexy guy. <laughs> sexy guy giving you a kiss now. So what it's saying is, uh, this narcissist partner of yours uh, lied to you. The they they sent evil spirits towards you, and they paid somebody to do hair jar spells. They wanted you to fall in love with this other man. They wanted you to fall in love with this other man. Well, why didn't they just have a little bitty balls to tell you that and say, hey, I don't fucking want you? Why? Why not, spirit? Why not, spirit? What else? What else? Ooh, crooks. They're planning on breaking in, somebody is. This person that uh, is done these spells on this person, this woman, whoever it is. They're, they're going to break in this real man, this person that tends to his own business. They're going to break in their house because they know you all have a happy marriage. Well, come on, and I've got a bunch of stuff here to take you out. They ain't never, they ain't never saw how high vibe beings work with problems. We know how to find the truth. <laughs> you just got enlightened to this situation. You just got enlightened to it. You didn't have no part in this. You didn't have no part in it. All you was doing was waiting on an apology. 
because you don't know the outcome and you try to tell these people don't fuck with me and they know that you're psychic. Do you understand? They know. They know it would come out. Oh, oh, look. And they paid a graveyard witch. And they put this dope head man, whoever he is, or woman, they paid a graveyard witch. Man and woman, they both got together and did it. And they're trying to make a demon latch on to you through sex. So, if you're buying this person, they're, they're latching a demon every time that you have sex. And uh, you and this person, uh, you thought that y'all was made for each other. And your off sex was off the charts. That's why your sex is off the charts. <laughs> they prayed for good sex with you. They prayed for to have good sex with you. To uh, try to keep you in a confused mindset. Because they know they have a fucking demon on them. Because they used to go to the graveyard and do, do uh, spells. Spells. Does that help? Witch spells. If you got black hair, you better pay the fuck attention. Somebody did this to you. That's why I was like... Yeah... So what it said is, Native American, don't give all your power away or your visions for the sake of being accepted by these same people not wanting you to shine brightly, love. Don't do this, Native Americans. That's my favorite card in the whole deck. Love yourself. Love your, love your beautiful self. Love yourself. You are beautiful self. You're consciously manifesting. This person is coming into your life. You're consciously manifesting. You gain clarity. You're more than Indians. Don't give your visions away. Don't feel trapped with a crazy SOB that might have something wrong with his blood. And pay attention to them red blood drops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something in the blood. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This person only wants you what you have and nothing else. They can't make a way for themselves. So they're just a damn thief. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody's a thief. Don't think of this person. Somebody's manifesting a thief in your life. They're trying to tempt they they're trying to tempt you because this is a false. This is a false. They did spells to make you fall in love with another man. This false narcissist did. Whoever this narcissist woman is or man, whoever it is, they they put this woman's hair in a jar so you'd fall in love with them. They're just tempted you because they're trying to steal your money. So take a take and take some scissors and cut them out of your fucking head at the moment. And a manager at your company uh, might have. Uh, I uh, said you were stealing and your grandmother helped, stepped in and helped you move away from that situation, maybe. And uh, they some person that pretends to, to like you or love you, they stick to you because they like what you give to them and do for them because they are lazy as hell. They got couch disease. So, what it's saying is, this person that uh, is a thief, and it might have been a manager of your company, paid that person to steal from you. Uh, look, this manager of this company, this manager of this company, paid someone to steal from you. They paid them to do it. They paid them to be in the shadows. Don't that sound so funny to my story collective? Remember this man I saw him coming around my truck, and that was down there where I worked, okay? And it's funny that in the shadows, in the shadows you find out this manager of the company did it. Look at her, how it told on it, wall. <laughs> it's funny, ain't it? <laughs> that person pretended to, to like you. All they did is sleep on a couch, this manager. That's what they did. And your, and your grandma, it was dead. She stepped in to help you get away from, from from crying about what these people did to you all the fucking time every time you got back from work. Yeah. Or feeling lonely about whoever this person is. They just wanted to make you feel miserable. 
And so Guy feels trapped in a loveless relationship. So they're our matching couple. There you go. There's your matching couple. They're sad. They're sad. Oh, well, get together and kiss. Learn how to love, love. Quit being pussies and not know how to tell. Oh, and they're spying on you and linked to your emails. And the law is well aware of them doing this to you. The law knows that both of these people that you worked with at this company is spying for your emails. Telling people you're lazy as fuck. Why would you cut your feelings off totally for me? This is this person here that loves you. This good man. And you're like, I'm building a business. It's your destiny to be with this person. Alright, well I hope this helps somebody out here. Somebody wants to know if you cut your feelings off totally where you haven't talked to them, but I hope this resonates. It had a lot of different energy in it. I can't help it, you all, but uh, remember to take that other read seriously, the one underneath this, okay, collective, because I told y'all to pay attention to that message before this, and, but this might help somebody in a collective. Who knows? It might one day. You never know, God, but God does about how these people try to kill a chosen one and nobody even cares two shit about it. Like you've said it before and you confirmed it. You confirmed it with 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 your hand. You confirmed that you was telling the truth, Star. That your wisdom was telling the truth to these people and, and, and you interpret about it, but they don't give a fuck. They know it's true. And they didn't care that they tried to kill you. They didn't care. But now they're going to care because the law, I exposed it. They're going to be taking them down. All these people that's trying to get in through the emails. You bunch of thief, dopehead fucks that rides women's skirt tails, you pieces of shit. Your pieces of shit lazies, get off your fucking ass and quit being sorry. That's what I'm telling you. Be a man. Learn to be a man. M-A-N. Somebody says you all six going to be off the charts. And somebody's in their shadow side right now. They're, pro they're projecting their guilt onto you. Don't give your power away to that person because they paid they paid people to, uh, to uh, say shit about you and dig up shit on you. These motherfuckers paid the law to dig up or paid people to dig up shit on you. I think that's stupid. I don't like that person. But I think the law knows that the law has their eyes on these crooks. <laughs> I love you for that spirit. And all you wanted was an apology. And they, they didn't appreciate your psychic powers. And that you was healed and you're happy with yourself. They wanted you to feel like shit for the things that you've done. But you stand in your truths and you stand proud. And you got to cut your feelings off and do that clean of sword things when you're building a business. And uh, you got to say, I, 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 I release it to the divine. And what is mine will come to me and the divine will give you a shooting star. And that's how I have it. And I love you, God. And I thank you. And uh, all I know is somebody's patience gets spread to them with all these lying nice people. Well, I hope this helps you today, collective. I love you guys. And I'm going to get off here. My back's hurt. It's already 108. I uh, hope this helped one of y'all out here today. Please, if you watched it this far, uh, you can leave me a comment. Tell me something. I love you. And I hope I give you clarity in some part of this one hour and ten minutes. Peace.